Hello guys, today in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to generate leads for your real estate agency using Facebook ads. Now this is a real tactic you can use to generate leads inside of Facebook. So you can call up people and I think get sellers, so you can sell to people or buyers for your house. So this tactic works for both generating both buyers and sellers. Let's get straight into it guys. So here we are inside of Facebook ads. We wanna hit create a new campaign and specifically, we want to select lead generation. Selecting this will let us enable the feature that we want to use in this video to generate leads. So we do this, you can see Facebook generates a new lead, a new campaign, we'll just call it lead gen. We don't need to select any special ad categories in Australia, you might overseas. Now, what we want to skip to is the exciting part down here. We want to create a lead generation ad. The way we're going to do this, quickly give it a name called lead gen again, so we understand what it is. Now, our Facebook page is selected there. We're going to hit create an ad. We're going to remove the media that's already in here. And we're going to upload some media of our own. In this case, we're going to add an image and we want to pick an image that's going to capture people's attention and stop them scrolling through Facebook. So in this case, I'm going to choose a nice picture of a house to try and capture their attention. But in your case, it might be a picture of you and a house, something that's going to link your brand with real estate. So I potentially recommend photoshopping your face into here somewhere. We're going to select this ad, select this photo and make sure that it looks all right, which it does. Now, when we scroll down here, this is where we're going to create an instant form that people can fill out and Facebook will capture their details. So you can see in the ad preview on the right hand side here, on this ad, the call to action is going to be sign up. And that sign up button means that people are going to sign up and register their details. So we're going to create a new form and we're going to give it a name and we're going to call it real estate lead gen so in this case we're going to go for more volume versus higher intent this means we get more people coming through but there's a chance that there might not be a high quality lead so we're going to select the background image again in this case i'll keep the background image the same as the main image above so we've got consistency throughout the ad we're then going to give a headline now the headline we want to choose it's going to be something enticing that's going to drag people in. In this case, we might want to say, do you want to, to sell your house? Speak to us for a free consultation. That's too many words. I'm going to say, organize a free consult. The text you put here, you want to make it stand out and grab people's attention. So that feel, so they feel like they're getting dragged in and they cannot say no because it's too good an offer to resist. If you have a lead magnet or something, you might want to put that in here instead. Our description might be, we run, we run, free consultations with real estate owners to help them understand the value of their property and what the market is doing. The information you want to be here once again has got to drag people in and Explain to them why they can't click away and why they can't say no. In this case, we're telling them, hey guys, come speak to us. We're going to contact you and we're going to ask a free consultation so you can understand the value of your house and understand where the market's going so that the client or the seller in this case feels empowered and getting information. You've got to give away something to capture people's data. Now, here is where we ask the question. In this case, Facebook automatically 
has loaded in email and full name. In this case, we probably want to add phone number as well. So we can add that in and drag that up. So phone number, email, and full name. Now, the powerful thing about these lead generation forms is Facebook's already got your data. It's got your phone number, your email, and your full name. So it automatically fills it out for you. And all you have to do is click next. That's what makes this so powerful. In this case, you might want to add a custom question. It might be, what's your address of your property? So that as a real estate agent, you can understand what it is is going on. But in this case, we'll leave it empty and we just want this information. Privacy, you have to add a privacy disclaimer. So I might just write, we promise not to use your details for spam. So add your privacy disclaimer there. And here's the closing headlines where we can redirect people once again to your website. So you might want to put in your real estate website there so people can find out more about you. Now we're going to hit publish after we quickly add a link. We're going to add a privacy link and call it privacy policy. So you can understand what's going on and you hit publish. We actually need to add a description as well. So what we're going to add is will contact will contact you for a free consultation and we can hit publish now that should be it custom disclaimer title is not provided where have i gone wrong it's not here it's not here it's down here somewhere isn't it just call it T's and C's publish and Facebook's going to show us the lead generation form that we have here and you can see it is there it is down here well up here I should say and if we scroll down a bit further you can see the preview underneath here of the form that's coming up and that's that now all we've got to do is write some primary text which appeals here. In this case we want to reach out to sellers so we're going to say are you looking to sell your house? Are you looking to sell your house? Educate yourself with a free consultation with us. Once again you want to reiterate your key selling points and why people are going to stop and click through with you. Facebook ads really work well with emojis. So I recommend you go right click and type in your emoji. If you're using Google Chrome, which I recommend putting something like a house in so people understand and Facebook's very visual. So you need to use stuff like that to help people scroll through and quickly understand what it is you're selling. So now that we've got all of this, we're going to quickly add a headline, which is sell your house fast, free consultations available. Once again, we're still just highlighting everything that we're giving away here. Now this is the bulk of your ad done. So people can now start to click through and become leads for you. At the end of this, once they've signed up, you're gonna have their phone number, email address, and full name, and you can then contact them to follow up in person as you understand is the best place to do it. The last thing you wanna consider when generating leads with a real estate ad is you wanna consider who you're targeting. We can leave instant forms on, we can leave the Facebook page the same, we don't need to select a catalog. What we do wanna select is the audience down here and we want to create an audience which represents who we're selling to. So in our example, if we're selling to someone in Felix Stowe, South Australia, it's a suburb, we can select that there and we can then drop a pin 
on Felix Doe and give it that location of let's go one mile around Felix Doe. So we're getting pretty much only Felix Doe and a few other surrounding areas as well. You can then remove that and that is what we're targeting. Once again, you probably want to adjust the age a little bit here. You can see we've got 43,000 people inside of Felix Doe, but you can probably rule out 18 to 26 year olds owning houses. So now all of a sudden we've now got 34,000 people inside of Felix Doe who we're going to target. You're going to hit save this audience and we can call it Felix Doe house sales and you're done. And now your ad's good to go. You can see as we adjust the daily budget and adjust our budget, which you can do for yourself, depending on how much you want to spend, we expect to see results change in the right hand side here. You can see that as we adjust our daily budget, we can see the results are going to change. Facebook's telling me that that looks abnormal, but you can see we can adjust it and change how many people you want to reach. I recommend choosing a number around 10 to $20 to spend per day. So you're not spending too much money, but you're still reaching in a suburb quite a few people. So guys, that is how you create an ad that's actually going to generate leads for you, for your real estate agency business. It's really good to use Facebook lead generation forms because they're quick, simple, and easy to use. I can show you what they look like by quickly doing this. So, I don't know where my phone is. If I do this and I go share a link, uh, I've got to publish it first. Publish. And now I can preview what it looks like. So that will be published and it will be available for review. Now all I want to do is go into here, go edit. To the top right here, go select and go share a link. Copy this link, open it up in a new tab. And now Facebook's going to show me what this ad looks like. If I hit show ad, I'm actually going to start seeing this ad in my news feed and my Instagram feed so I can understand what it looks like. So if I quickly scroll down here, you can see straight away, here's what the ad looks like. Are you looking to sell your house? Educate yourself with free consultation with us. I'm gonna hit sign up. And instantly, my number's in here, I should probably hide that. My email's in here and my full name's in here. Click next and submit. And this information is sent straight through to the back end of Facebook where your page is set up so you can grab this information and follow up with these leads. I hope this ad helps guys. I hope this video tutorial helps guys. Keep well, stay strong guys in this crazy COVID time. I'm looking forward to creating more content. I'll speak to you next time. Ciao, ciao.